So we make hooks out of what? I think this is nine gauge fencing wire. And we use this handy little jig here to either make something like that, or we could simplify the end and just have a plain loop in it. Like that instead of the bit of chain. Yeah. A little less stylish, but we're hanging it on conduit, yeah. so having the plain loop is probably a good idea. When I made these before, I made them two lengths, and so that when you hang them up, you want short and long to stop the axles of the wheels bashing up against one another. I think I used to cut like 11 inches and 13 inches. This stuff is tough to cut. You want to use something like these to get through it. And then it's hard work. So with a fairly straight piece of wire, we want to put these little loops in the end. There's a hole in the end of this block where you can just put the wire in and then bend it round to give you that. And then just get a little pair of pliers and bend it close. You then go onto this main piece here, put the hook bit we put there, and then just bend the wire all the way around. So now you've got the hook. Then if you're going to go with a bicycle chain one, I think it's 12 links. Drop the chain on, get a little washer, and go to that end piece again. We're going to have another one of those closed end bits on it. Bend it round. Close it up and then that can't get past the end. Put the chain back together. And I never bother using the chain to put this back together. I just put it on something solid and hit it. There you go, there's a hook. Beautiful. Rather than the chain piece on the end, if you just want to put the simple loop on, you just use this smaller one here, get it and bend it all the way around. And there's a loop that I, this is big enough to fit over the conduit. That's all there is to it. Beautiful. Thank you, Alan.